Are you looking for a new way to convert visitors into warm leads? Personalizing the experience with a meeting often increases your conversion rate on your website. This right here is TwoCalendly, a calendar platform that allows you to schedule meetings with your potential customers. Let's check it out. Now we are inside TwoCalendly on the dashboard and this dashboard is very important because here you can easily get an overview of your next meetings, your next upcoming meetings, and then you can of course search within booking numbers. We have some insights down here, but let's dive into what two calendar is all about and that is calendars. So I have made a calendar up here called book a demo and within this calendar there is one event and the event is what's important because the event is what you can book so before we dive into the settings, I just want to open this event link so you can get an idea of how it looks like. And if you have worked with Calendly or you have ever booked a meeting on a website, you have often seen this screen. And what we can do here is that we can book a meeting on a specific day in a specific time. So here you can see that I chose Monday 14th of March and I chose 11 to 11.20. I then enter my credentials here, my first name, my last name and then some type of email here and then I press schedule a event and this email is correct and I'll just confirm it. So now we have booked it and we can then schedule another meeting if we want to. So let's try and go back to the platform. So here on the platform if we go to the dashboard you can see that we now have our upcoming meetings and the specific meeting where the next one is at 11 on Monday. That is so important because you can then get an overview and you can then see all of your meetings in here with all the scheduled events. But let's go back to the calendar here. So within a calendar you create different events and the events is what you can really customize because you can add a video URL, you can choose what the location should be and down here you can see you set the event link. And then we have things like availability settings because you don't want that someone books a meeting at 2 in the night in your time zone. So it's very important that you set your time zone here and then you set the available days, you set the to and from time and then you can basically work with everything here. You can set how long different meetings should last, what the duration of the event should be, if there even should be an event duration. You can then also disable the time zone selection it is very good to have. Up here we always can go to the actual event or we can get the integration code. And with the integration code we can either inline it on our website or we can make it open as a pop-up with a button. But let's just go back now to the availability settings. Then we also have the form settings which you just saw before where we have the first name, the last name and the email. You can then add more fields. Let's say you want that to ask that if they could sign up for a newsletter, then we could add that as a custom field. We can then say control group and then we can say, do you want my newsletter? For instance, the answer is yes. And then we can say we should allow custom answer. No, then we just add it here. Right now, this is a manual process because even though we have integrations, we don't have integrations to MailChimp or ActiveCamp and yet it is coming. And I will talk more about that later. But for now, we have to do it manually. And as you can see, it's so important you save your settings because otherwise they're gone when you change between the different tabs. You can also add an image to customize this calendar more to fit your style. Then we can add assignments, we can add users, we can then also synchronize the data and you can see that there are a lot more different options here. We can also set conditions up that they cannot cancel within a specific date range or a specific time. We can also set a disclaimer. Then we can work a little bit with the confirmation because either we can redirect to another page that we have built on our website or we can just show the default confirmation page. And again here the confirmation template is just default. Over here I will show you in a moment how you change this. Again the email account I've chosen default as well and then I have added so they will get an ICS file. And this ICS file makes it possible for them to save it in their own calendar. Often that's very important in order for them to remember their meeting. You can also set up reminders so they will receive a reminder. We have to build a template for that. So that is that you basically remind them that the meeting starts in one hour, 10 minutes, whatever you want. Then we can set up the cancellation if the meeting has been canceled. 
and you can set up payments. So within two calendar, you can integrate with Stripe or PayPal. Then you can say that booking a meeting costs XYZ. For instance, if you are offering your expertise within a specific niche, then you of course need payment for this. But what I will recommend you is starting by giving a little sneak peek. Let's say they get 15 minutes for free and then from there they have to pay. But here you can set the currency. I will set it to Danish and then the amount, let's say it costs 200 per event. And then we choose whether we want Stripe or PayPal and then you save. Right now there is then payment for all of my meetings. Then we can also set up translations. We can then add a new language and say it should also be available in Portuguese, for instance. Then you can see we have the different fields. We then have to translate ourselves. I will just remove this language myself. It would be great if they did it for me, but that's just a minor thing. But now let's move on to the booking pages because within the booking pages is where you can do the most customization. I will say that it is still limited what you can do. But for instance, here you can see that we have our booking page link. We have our alias. Then you can see the meeting types. I will choose book a demo. We have format options, how we want the date to be, and then some more options down here. Then we can go to the template where we can choose between two different templates, either a simple modern one or a modern with a header. I will choose the simple modern one. And then here you can see whether we should show page style, we can choose the color scheme and so on, minor details. And that is about it, what you can change with your booking page. For the content over here, you can see that we can add videos, titles, content in general, product descriptions and FAQ. We can add reviews and then a legal notice. And all of this is of course to create some trust around your book a demo website in this case. We can also here enter our profile. That is for us personally. We can set up integrations. This is only right now for Google Analytics. And then again, we have translations, but we have to translate the website ourselves into other languages. They are not doing it for us. And that's about it, what you can do with booking pages. For the confirmation templates, this is what you can use within Booga Demo, which we've already set up. So let's make a confirmation template that is called Book a Demo. You can see we have it here and right now it is just using the default. But what we can change is we can change the subject, we can change the email and that is the actual content or if we're sending out text messages. Then we can also do it here and then we can use tags like the customer's phone number, the customer's first name, the full name or what it is we want. And then we can choose again the format options and then press save. So right now we have made a very simple confirmation template and this is sent per email or text message depending on your preferences. We can also do the same with reminder templates. Let's call this one again, book a demo one hour before. Let's add this one. And then again, we can write in the text. Let's just write one hour before some nonsense here. And again with a text message, hi, blah, blah, blah. There, perfect. Let's save this one. Now we have a confirmation template and a reminder template and the same go for the cancellation template. It is the exact same. But now let's try and go back to our calendars into the event and then let's see if we can change our confirmation template. So you can see here that the confirmation template Booga Demo is now available. So I will press save on this one. On the reminder, let's go in here and see, yes, our reminder is available here. And then we can set the schedule here. So I want to say that one hour before they should receive this reminder. That is so cool. And I will definitely recommend you doing this because often they will forget the meeting. And that is how you use all of these templates. Now, one thing you can also do is that you can make surveys. And the survey you can basically send after a meeting is done. And this survey they can fill out. You can also send it before so you get some information. And a survey is also used to arrange meetings. So you can say that let's add a new text field here with a question that says, what is your name? This is required, let's add this one. So right now we have a start and let's say it should go to what is your name? To simplify the survey templates, then let's add an option group. Within the option group, we will ask, would you like a meeting? We will ask two things, we'll say yes or no, and then we'll delete the last one. Again, this is required. So now we have this one here. So you can see that 
now is asking for what is your name and then would you like a meeting if they say yes we will arrange a meeting if they say no we will just exit so now we have a very simple survey we will call this one would you like a meeting and then we'll press save so now we have a very simple survey that we can send out where people can basically book meetings and this survey will also be available for everyone to use that is just a simple way again to try and intrigue people to use your scheduling for meetings so let's say that you are selling a specific service but this service is depending in price depending on what the need is you can then make a very simple survey where you calculate for the user or for the visitor how much will this be and then depending on that you can always ask information on the fly so you save that information but then depending on that then they can book a meeting because then they feel invested they have spent time on giving information to you so why not just take a meeting where they can talk through whatever their need is that's a very neat feature we also have coupons so going back to what we saw before that you could make a stripe integration or a paypal integration and then take payment for your meetings you can then also make coupons and then you can give discounts on your specific meetings you can see here that's generated a coupon here it can be a discount it can also be amount of sessions they get so let's say that they will get 100 danish krona as a discount but it is only valid until the end of march and it's valid for all the meetings so you can see here now we have the discount and this you can send out to whoever you want so let's say going back to the example that you want to give 15 minutes for free and then from there you, they have to pay in this case you can give this discount because it shows that you are also invested in helping them and acquiring them as a customer very very neat feature as well then we have integrations and integrations is many things in this case because you can integrate your calendar so you always locally on your computer have all the events so you know when your next meeting is but you can also integrate to video conferences so when you send out these meetings automatically a video conference link will be created so you don't have to think about that we've already talked about the payment gateways and then they have slack clickup hubspot and twilio twilio is for sending out text messages slack is so you can shoot an event into slack so you always know that there is a new event who has taken this specific event clickup is again for when meetings are scheduled hubspot is also for when meetings are scheduled it's really depending on what system you're using you can also set up email accounts and here you need to enter your smtp server your username password and the port and the protocol and then you can start sending out but if you don't want to do that you can also just sign in with google and then via your google account they will send out all the emails for the specific event so you can see that with two calendar you get so much functionality for a very low price it is definitely intriguing to test out you can see how easy it is to use how easy it is to navigate around and you can really tweak almost everything that you want to so now let's move on to the pricing. Now using two Calendly, you get a very simple pricing structure. You can either go with the free plan, which is free forever, and you get a limited amount of features, though you get very far with those features. It is mainly the integrations and some templates you don't get. But if you need those features, then they also have the paid plan. And the paid plan comes in at eight us dollars very cheap compared to the alternative calendly and then you get all of the integrations you get all of the features so you can just test it out and use it for your platform or for your website and what i really like about that pricing is that you can get a seven day trial and in these seven days you can really test out the features you can test out the integrations to really figure out whether it's for you or not because often then you'll be able to manage with the free plan now the alternative to two calendly as i've already mentioned is calendly calendly is definitely the number one choice within these calendar platforms because calendly not only is it so agile on so many aspects but you can also just design it a lot more you can really make it your own custom feel and then the overall design is much more modern than two calendly 
So in order for two Calendly to come up next to Calendly, there are some agility they need to work on. And then the design, we are very locked in the design. We can't really change that much. And then their own design in the platform is starting to look a little bit outdated. But let's see what's in for the future. Now the future of two Calendly doesn't contain so many design elements, but it does contain more integrations. And these integrations makes it possible for us to automate all of our manual processes. And that is what it's really about. So right now they're working on active campaign integration and a MailChimp integration. This means that when people are scheduling a meeting, they can also sign up for the newsletter and then completely automatically, they will be shut in to active campaign or into MailChimp completely automatically without we have to lift a finger. Furthermore, then they are also working on a reschedule link. With a reschedule link, then people and participants in meetings who can't participate, they can then easily reschedule it without they have to manually send an email. Can we postpone the meeting or whatever the reason should be? That is again another thing that will automate it and make it more easy. Last but not least, then they are also working on follow ups and attachments. Follow-ups is so we can very easily follow up on a meeting. Let's say that we do some agreements in the meeting, then we can easily follow up on those agreements. And the attachment is for us to attach files, sound files, images, whatever it should be on the different components we're using within two Calendly. So this is definitely minor things, but it's definitely things that will improve the usability of two Calendly and just makes it easier to use. Using two Calendly, not only do you get so much functionality for a low price, but you also get surveys and integrations. Though I really hope they will work on the booking page to make it more customizable. And then the design overall really needs a modern update. Having a calendar for your lead nurturing has been proven to work over and over again. And with two Calendly and all the functionality you get, you're very well on the way. I want to give two Calendly four stars. I would like to see more design options for the booking page. That's my review. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.